So you might be wondering, why do I have an ice lolly in my mouth? Well, you see, it's a bit stuffy today, and I got a bit hot climbing through the window. So I thought I'd cool myself down. Plus, it makes me feel like a kid. If you ignore the blood, that is. I should probably explain this whole blood situation. So yeah, I thought I'd be climbing through the window the conventional way, if you could ever call climbing through a window conventional. Uh, but the latch was down, so the only way through was, well, actually, through. It took quite a few kicks and a sliced leg, but I managed it. <laughs> Why was I breaking into the house? First of all, breaking in is a little strong to criticise my own phrasing. It's my house, after all. Well, maybe I should backtrack a bit further. You see, I had a respectable job a few hours ago. I wore a suit and everything. This suit, in fact, was a nice suit before the rips and the blood and all that. I guess I'll have to get a new one. Anyway, the big boss let me go. Something about three strikes and you're out, which is ridiculous. But one thing, this is an office, not a baseball game. More importantly, Strikes are a load of crap. Uh, first so-called strike was a total accident. I walked into the wrong meeting, turned out to be an important client. I tried to walk straight back out again, but I got a little confused and walked into a cabinet, which unfortunately Fell. The client insisted he needed to go to A and E, but there wasn't that much blood. It was it was mostly bruising. I swear. The boss sent me home and told me to pull myself together, which was ridiculous because that's exactly why I'd taken all those pills in the first place. In retrospect, I. I took them all a bit too early and they may have stopped me sleeping the previous night but I, I'm certain I got more work done before my little stumble. The second time was fair enough because I'd come in late. Well, maybe late's the wrong word. I've got my days mixed up. I thought it was the weekend. You see, Sunday was a bit of a haze. So, when Monday happened, I thought the weekend hadn't finished yet, and I guess I also slept through most of Monday. Which you'd think would have made me energetic for Tuesday, but I was late then too. The third time was a piss take. I happened to be walking down the corridor when some clients arrived. I tried to be nice, greeting them, offering them a handshake, but the assistant, total bitch on my head, brushed me aside. I was dirt on her blouse. So I think it's completely reasonable that I stood up for myself. They definitely didn't need to call security, that's for sure. And that brings me back to the sofa and the blood and the window because those assholes wouldn't let me go back into the building to collect my stuff. I couldn't even get the bus home. So I definitely deserve the lolly. There's actually a whole pack of them in the freezer. It's one of those massive ones with food all nicely stacked and labelled Tupperware. Might grab another one though. This one uh, nearly choked me because I sort of passed out uh, a little. 
when I got myself settled. It might be blood loss. I'm not sure how long it's been, but the sofa's definitely changed colour a bit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Dave, is that you? What the hell are you doing here? Is that blood? I told you not to come back here. <coughs> Fuck, now I have to call an ambulance, for God's sake. I probably should explain. Again, I say this is my house. But maybe I should be more specific. It was my house. It's all semantics though, isn't it? Because I bet some of my stuff is still lurking around here somewhere. I just don't get it, Dave. It's been years. Why can't you just move on? Oh, uh, yes, hello. Uh, I have a man here who's bleeding quite a lot. I think we need an ambulance. <sighs> my phone's location. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I have a fiancé now. Can't you understand that? And my stepdaughter. Oh god, I can't have her seeing you in all this blood. She'll freak out. I'll get her to go to her friend's house. I guess I better get you a towel or something too. Hold that and press hard. about the fiance and the kid that explains how I saw these I imagine a perfect man getting back from his perfect job to find his perfect family aren't at home and his perfect house is covered in blood For Christ's sake, are you choking right now? Are you kidding me? Jesus. You are paying for every last penny of this mess. I don't care how much it costs you. If I have to go to court, I will. She's angry. But it's because she cares. Obviously, she still loves me. She's just got so caught up in this domestic lifestyle that she's forgotten what it was like. How much fun we had. She was a stoner too back in the day. And this place was paradise. Mm. Those were the glory days. Burning all her parents' money and really living. Sure, if she had one day, even one evening away from all this clutter, she'd remember. We're going straight back to how it was. I got the job in the suit when the money ran out. It was meant to be kind of ironic, stealing from the fat cats. But she kept pushing me to work harder and make it bigger. I never really got any further because I didn't want to, so she went and found someone more ambitious and motivated, like any of that even matters. And now she's stuck following the rules like everyone else. I pity her in a way. My whole life is labelling the boxes in that massive free zone, reading the next novel for a book club. I mean, she does have a job and all, but... It's all so empty. That's what I was going to explain to her, but... I'm not sure I can get the words out now. It's definitely brain freeze. bit wasn't exactly part of the plan. I thought it looked more impressive. Mysterious. Maybe she'd walk in, shoes off, hair down, and I'd be there by the open window. The 
fat joint and a beckoning hand. I'd sweep her away and we'd escape all this materialistic bullshit. If I just had a minute to explain myself, I could make this all make sense to them. I'm sure of it. Dave? Dave? Don't you fucking dare.